Welcome everyone to my show, The Lala Show, and today we will be exposing the shocking true story about the one, the only, Elizabeth Proctor. <laughs> already, Elizabeth Proctor went through a lot of pain after being accused of being a witch in a small town called Salem. Not only did she go through pain for being accused, but she also had to face the evil truth about her husband's affair with a much younger woman who once worked for her. But with, before we talk about the subject, can you please tell us about your childhood? Sure. I was born and raised in Salem by my parents. I guess a typical day for me would probably be cleaning, farming, going to church every Sunday morning. I was a very intellectual child. I always had something to say, um, but I always, of course, spoke my mind, and I always thought before I took my actions. Well, now that we know a little bit about your childhood, can you please tell us about your love life with John Proctor? How did you guys meet? Actually, my father met John first one Sunday morning at church and they got to know each other and they my father introduced me to him and we clicked we started talking and we got married and our relationship at first was it was going good but then after time um, our relationship grew apart it was dull but again I didn't make a big deal because I didn't make it a big deal because I knew I still loved him and I knew he still loved me so we just went went on with life did you ever wonder why he started acting this way? Of course, I immediately had a feeling once I hired my first servant, Abigail Williams. I knew that she had some feelings towards my husband, but I didn't make it such a big deal. But I guess um, keeping her and sticking to my instincts was, of course, as you know, it was a bad decision made. So what was your reaction when you found out that your husband was cheating on you with your servant, Abigail Williams. It was shocking. It, it hurt me um, knowing that your husband is having an affair with a much younger woman. It, it really hurts, but of course I forgave him because he loves me and I love him and I believed him when he told me he wouldn't do anything like that again. And of course I immediately fired her once I found out. But fire her backfire, right? Because uh, afterwards she wanted revenge. Yes, she was stalking my husband everywhere my husband was. She wanted to be there. And it got to a point where she accused me as being a witch at the Salem Witch Trial. And it just went on from there. You were sent to court and then to jail, right? Yes, I was. But you were pregnant during this period, weren't you? Yes, I was pregnant, which is one of the reasons why they pitted me in jail. Because I was pregnant. So, how did you... Like, how did you deal with your husband's execution, you know, after? Mm -hmm. um, well, of course, it was painful. Um, the feelings that I was feeling, they were very unexplainable. I guess I just prayed all the time, and I had to be strong for my children, and I just went, I went on with life, and I'm, I always stay strong for my children. It must be really hard raising children all by your own. Yeah, it is, but I pray all the time, and I know that I'm going to be all right. Well, thank you for sharing your story with us. Thank you. Uh, I hope the best. It was nice being here. Thank you. Um, well, ladies and gentlemen, this has been the Elizabeth Proctor True Story, and you saw it only here in the Lala Show. Thank you for coming. See you next time.